Are you struggling with sciatica pain and need fast relief? In this video, I'll show you four simple exercises you can do at home to ease your leg pain quickly and effectively. If you're tired of suffering and need a solution that actually works, this video is your answer. I'll share the most effective stretches and exercises I've refined over 24 years of successfully treating sciatica patients. These proven techniques have brought lasting relief to countless people just like you. These exercises are tailored to reduce inflammation, increase mobility, and most importantly, avoid making the sciatica leg pain worse. Everything is broken down into easy step-by-step -step instructions, including how many repetitions to do, how long to hold each position, no complicated routines, just straightforward techniques that can bring real relief. There's more. Stay with me until the end and you'll learn an advanced sciatica flossing exercise that could significantly reduce your nerve pain quickly. I have shown this sciatica nerve floss to many patients and they absolutely love it. Hi, I'm Dr. Raminder Burke, a chiropractor in Woodbridge, Ontario, Canada. We have helped thousands of patients recover from spinal conditions such as disc bulges, herniations, degeneration, lumbar stenosis, sciatica, and radiculopathy. We use non-surgical spinal decompression as the cornerstone of our unique and proven back-to-life method. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you want do-it-yourself tips, strategies, and exercises that will help you relieve and manage your back and leg pain at home. Plus, you will discover which therapies are best for treating disc bulges, disc herniations, and other spinal degenerative conditions. I'll upload a new video every week. In addition to that, I wrote a book called Back to Life. Imagine getting your life back while getting your health back. You can get a free copy in the link in the pinned comments below. Sciatica is so painful and debilitating because it directly affects the sciatic nerve, which is the largest nerve in the body. The nerve runs from your lower back, through the hips, down each leg when it becomes irritated or compressed, often due to a herniated disc, spinal stenosis, or even a bone spur, it sends sharp, intense pain radiating along its path. The pain is often described as a burning or a stabbing sensation and can be severe enough to limit mobility. This nerve involvement also means that the pain can affect not just the back, also the hips, the buttocks, the legs, sometimes reaching as far as the foot. The intensity of the pain combined with muscle weakness, numbness, or tingling can even make simple movements excruciating, leading to significant limitations in daily activities and sometimes even causing temporary disability. Additionally, the chronic nature of sciatica can lead to ongoing discomfort and frustration, making it difficult for sufferers to work, exercise, or engage in normal activities, further contributing to the sense of disability and diminished quality of life. Professional care is often essential for stabilizing sciatica and ensuring long-term recovery. However, if you want to get a head start on managing your sciatica at home, these exercises might offer the fast relief you've been searching for. In just a moment, I'll guide you through four sciatica exercises designed to relieve pain not only in your lower back and buttocks, but also in your legs and feet. I'll present the exercises in a follow-along format so you can return anytime to re-watch the sciatica relief routine. I'll also provide the exact number of reps and hold times for each exercise and make sure to stay until the end where I'll share a bonus exercise called the sciatic nerve floss, a powerful technique that helps break down adhesions along the sciatic nerve, offering significant leg pain relief. Let's get started. The first stretch is the piriformis figure four stretch. This stretch is a very powerful stretch for deep muscles located in the hip, the lateral rotators, and the piriformis. Its purpose is to correct hip imbalances and restore function to the lower spine. What we're going to do is have you do this three repetitions per leg with 30 seconds each, alternating left and right between each set. So starting by simply lying on your back, cross one leg over the other, placing your ankle on the opposite thigh just above your knee. Next, grasp the uncrossed leg under your thigh and gently pull it towards your chest. A stretch in the hip of the crossed leg should be felt. Holding this for 20 to 30 seconds, get to the point of comfort, but giving it a stretch, repeat as described, holding 30 seconds three times 
alternate the other leg, and repeat. The next exercise we're going to do is sciatic and hamstring stretch, which is going to quickly take tension off the whole sciatic nerve pathway from the lower back towards the foot. So if you have a lot of sciatica past your knee, specifically in the calf, definitely give this one a try. What we're going to do is lying flat on your back, in bed or on the floor, have your legs roughly hip width apart and your knees apart, your feet flat. Have your whole body nice and relaxed, so you relax your core, your back, and your leg muscles. What you're going to do is take the leg that you're experiencing sciatica, and you're just going to grab it from behind the thigh. If this position seems really hard to get into, take a towel rolled up, place it behind the leg, and pull the two ends towards you. But what you want to do first is just bring the knee towards your chest until you feel a light stretch form in the back of our thigh that works towards the glute or buttocks. Just a light stretch with this one. Because what we're going to do is deepen the stretch now, slowly straightening the bent knee, raise your foot towards the ceiling. Do this one slowly because your stretch can get very intense. What we want to do at this point, where it's extremely deep but not discomfort or pain, if it is, just slightly back down to release it. Then we will take it to the next level by doing ankle pumping motion. So what you want to do first is just press your foot away from you, kind of like you're pressing the gas pedal in your car, and you're going to feel this in the muscles of your calves really starting to fire. Hold this position for a second or two, and then slowly bring your foot back towards you and hold one, two, back to the bottom, one, two, back towards you, one, two, and doing this five times. Bring your foot down and relax, take a breather, and do another repetition, trying to build into this just a little more every time with a deeper stretch. Repeat it five times on each side. It's a great stretch for your hamstrings and your sciatic nerve. It'll provide a lot of relief, especially on the side that the leg is in discomfort. The next exercise is going to focus on quickly taking pressure off bulging and herniated discs, which are the main cause of pinched nerves and sciatica. It's called Cobra. I'm going to show you how to take it to the next level, but what we're going to start with is on our stomach, in bed, or on the floor, supporting your upper body weight on your forearms. And before we start this exercise, all movement during this exercise is going to come through our arms, through our upper back. We're going to make sure to keep our hips and pelvis flat on the floor. Make sure you don't raise your lower body. The first movement we want to do is the half cobra. We're just going to slowly press our chest and shoulders upward toward the ceiling until we feel a very light, comfortable stretch form over the front of our body, over our core muscles that works towards the pelvis into the front of the hips. Once you feel this one, hold this one comfortably for 20 to 30 seconds and just do nice, slow, controlled breathing. Let out as much tension as you can if you want, need to just relax your lower chest, lower your chest down, and we're going to do this for five repetitions, holding it for 30 seconds. So you can bring your chest down to relax and take a breather there. Come back and hold. And each one just go deeper and deeper into the stretch to your tolerance. Now, for most people, though, this is not really going to be that deep of a stretch. It's a great starting point, and we're going to go a little bit deeper into the next one here. You can build this into what's called the full cobra. It's pretty similar. We're going to, going to do this time is just raise our hands besides our shoulders there and slowly come up into the stretching the arms into a full stretch. Keeping your pelvis and hips flat, find what's comfortable and don't force it. Holding breathing, relaxing into that pose for 30 seconds. You're going to release that back down and repeat for up to five times and just build into that one, each one deeper stretch. And then we're going to take the cobra into the next level. So as you get more comfortable with the straight on cobra, we're going to get some movements where we angle you to the right spot that's going to give you the most relief. Instead of just keeping your body straight, 
we're going to tilt to the one side all the way to the left in this case. As she tilts, it's going to provide a deeper stretch to the right in this case. Holding that again, obviously to the level of comfort. Going to the right now to the opposite side. You're going to find some spots you're going to feel really good. And some other ones are going to feel more discomfort as we get into finding the good spot. Hold it for 30 seconds. Relax into it and keep repeating that for up to five si times per side. One of the best stretches for patients that are dealing with sciatica is called the McKenzie wall stretch. It's safe, it's convenient, and the only thing you need is either a wall or a door. So let's break that one down. The hardest part about this exercise is just knowing what side to place towards the wall or door. So I'll tell my patients, remember, good wall. And good, that means the good side or non-painful side towards the wall. So in this case here, Ashley would have sciatica on her right. And what we're going to do is having placed the left side, you're going to place your feet together and then roughly a foot apart and half a foot away from the wall or door. And you're going to lean your body weight into the wall. Just press your shoulder into the wall. It's really important during this exercise that we don't lift our shoulder off the wall. Treat it like it's attached and it will not move. Instead, all the movement is going to come through our lower back and through our hips. So you're going to take your hand, place it on the right, on the painful side hip, and slowly press the hip towards the wall or door. Do this one slowly because you're going to really feel a good stretch form in the lower back. What this exercise does is it quickly takes pressure off bulging or herniated discs, which are the main cause of sciatica. So we're going to lean into it, come back off, repeating it, holding it for 15, 20 seconds, repeating it for three to five times. So what it, you want to see is, a, is the pain is coming upward. It's a trend of pain coming up towards your back, and that's called centralization. That means the exercise is working. If the pain is going down your leg, obviously that's not good. We want to stop each repetition, just like with Cobra, try and get a little bit deeper. And as you feel good and comfortable, step away from the wall more and get a deeper stretch by having more distance between you and the wall. So as Ashley moves away and then leans, now she's gonna push her pelvis towards that wall with more range of movement. This is a really good exercise. You can do it throughout the day. It provides instant relief in many cases. Remember to hold for 30 seconds, three to five times, and create more distance as you develop better and better flexibility. Now the next one is the bonus video I was telling you about the nerve flossing technique, which is a very powerful way to deepen and open up the nerve and the inflammation at the sciatic nerve. So we're going to start in a seated position on a surface that allows your legs and feet to swing freely. Sitting comfortably, upright with your knees bent, flex your head forwards so you chuck your chin towards your chest, bringing the knee on the painful side back and pointing your toes which moves your sciatic nerve towards your back and away from your foot. From this position, you'll begin to move your leg on the side that hurts, straighten your knee until the knee is fully extended and pull your toes towards you while simultaneously lifting your head back. And extend your neck until you're looking up towards the ceiling. This moves your sciatic nerve towards your foot and away from your back. Move slowly simultaneously and coordinated. It should take about five seconds to repeat the cycle. Go ahead and do it the other direction. And back and forth. So increase the number of repetitions over your time. So starting with three to four, always on the side of the leg pain, pointing the toe down, straightening, flexing the foot, in a coordinated fashion. Remember to breathe. Also remember to do this at least two hours after getting out of bed so there's decreased disc pressure in your spine. It's normal to feel any sensations in your back and leg or even during your foot during these movements as long as they don't, the symptoms don't last for more than 15 minutes after the exercise. So if anything your irritations last longer than 15 minutes, stop the exercise and consult with your doctor. 
You now have a concise and powerful follow along routine to relieve sciatica leg pain. You can do these exercises four to five times a week. Be sure to come back and follow the routine regularly. If you found these exercises helpful and they provided relief, please like and share the video. Also, comment below to let me know which exercise gave you the most relief. Was it number one as far as the piriformis stretch? Was it the cobra? I'd love to hear your feedback. Remember to subscribe to my channel now if you want do-it-yourself tips, strategies, and exercises that will help you relieve and manage your neck and back pain at home. Sometimes sciatica pain is linked to a lumbar disc bulge such as an L4, L5 disc bulge. If you've been diagnosed with this condition, the next video you should watch provides the advanced exercises specifically for the L4, L5 disc bulge. You can watch that video now by clicking on the thumbnail over here.